Okay, this is a good place to show. This is the tempo overlay echo effect. And it's so fast, you hardly hear it before you blink. So, if we slow that down, we hear... And there's a progressive 32nd, 16th, 8th, and then a quarter note silence at the end. And what we realize is that this is like feathering in visual art. And it, you can visually see it feathering almost here. So again, the way it sounds in full speed is this way. And you just hear it at the end. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Motion Part 31, Chill. In today's episode, we re-entered by reflecting. There are many sources of sound when preparing to record a live event, and that's on our mind because we're going to be recording one later on today. Sometimes you're trying to emphasize the speaker's voice, sometimes you're trying to emphasize the music that's being played, and you are then de-emphasizing other things like keyboard noise or feedback, and sometimes you're trying to balance it like if more than one person is speaking. A simple example of that here is with this composition, um, Improvisation 1, where we do have a very soft piano cadence and the original backbone and polyphone pianos have been made tacit. They're muted. They're completely muted it's right there. So they were originally emphasized and then they've become de-emphasized. So, and we can emulate this in composed music and animations, which I just showed you by changing what's emphasized and de-emphasized. Another thing we worked a little bit with was the composition two, improvisation two, this one. I don't think we left it up, did we? No, but um, the jazzy piece we experimented with and uh, we found out that we could make it any, we could tailor it to fit by making it longer or shorter just by repeating certain parts. So we did that. And there are, um, the other thing we realized, basically we spent a lot of time, we made Improvisation 3, which we're going to play for you. Um, and it goes like this, and that'll bring us home. Now that's as far as we got, and the rest of this is pretty much the same as improvisation one, starting down here with this little segue leading into it. So that concludes today's stream. What we like about Improvisation 3 is that we, you know, the whole be thing began with Improvisation 1, which was 13 standalone chords in the Do, Re, Mi scale. And we made up a nice sounding piece in piano. Then we rewrote it slightly to use uh, those two voices you just heard. And we split the backbone polyphone into two completely separate lines. And then we took that and we went into improvisation too, and all of a sudden we had brainwave tempo things, which you heard us playing a little bit there about the feathering. And then 
we went back to one and we're repurposing it again or re making a, a third version which is kind of stealing some of the ideas from brainwaves because now we're using two different tempos on two different layers and we're making improvisation one more interesting more we're extending it or deepening it or we're making it more interesting now, all these pieces so far are still in the order of 60 seconds and it's kind of fun working with it and and just coming coming up and trying things and getting pleasantly surprised so our ideas for next time is continue to work with improvisation three and there's something we're now calling the between the beat brainwave tempo effect for example down here we've been using a little grace note right in there uh, so not only are we doing quarter notes instead of half notes but we're doing kind of a grace note on the eighth note and that's faster so that would take us out of delta into hopefully what we would call the theta brainwave uh, shout outs to miss cleo and mr spatz who stopped by again mr spatz comes by about every other week or so so tune in next time to see what happens with interpolated between the beat brainwave tempo effects and whatever else we come up with do take care do come back and do keep on streaming